Local researchers say they've made a major medical breakthrough. Brown University and Women and Infants Hospital unveiled the first artificial human ovary today. They hope it could one day lead to infertility treatments for cancer patients. Iowa to News reporter Catherine Sodnik joins us now live on our studio with a story that's new at six. Well, researchers say making an artificial ovary is an extremely difficult process. They're actually made from other ovaries removed from women, which are hard to come by. Researchers in Rhode Island have invented the first artificial human ovary, and the new advance may help women with cancer get pregnant. Dr. Sandra Carson is a professor at Brown University and a director at Women and Infants Hospital. She says a woman's eggs can now mature in the artificial ovary instead of their own. We have now matured an immature egg into a mature egg right in the culture laboratory. Here's how it works. Doctors take the eggs out of a cancer patient before chemo or radiation. They're then placed in the artificial ovary in the lab, and then when the woman is ready to get pregnant, they're put back in the woman. This system hopefully will allow those eggs to be matured more efficiently when the cancer is cured. And Dr. Carson says the artificial ovary will also help with other infertility research. I'm Katherine Sotnick, Eyewitness News.